Hey, it's Raymond here with uh, Go Time Training. So we're going to go into phase two in far as helping correct or decrease um, the pain in our lower back. So as we did in the first video, we talked a lot about thoracic spine and hip mobility, the adjacent joints to the lower back and make sure that these have full range of motion. Now we're going to want to make sure that our core is active. Okay, so a lot of times as we become more sedentary, we end up not using our core as much, and it decreases its ability to actually tighten strength, especially a deep core muscle called our transverse abdominis. And this is pretty much like the weight belt for the body. Its main job is really to become rigid, like a cylinder, and protect the lower spine and the organ, especially during movement and exercise. What happens as we age, this becomes very weak and it doesn't protect the, the lumbar as much. So we need to teach the brain to reactivate uh, it and to make sure that it is firing properly during movement. So some ways that we can do that is through these exercises. Really learning how to activate the transverse abdominals or that deep core muscle. So we're going to do what's called the drawing in maneuver. We're actually going to draw in our belly button towards our spine. So what we're going to do is get into a quadruped position. Once again, our hands right underneath our shoulders, our toes poured into our shins, and our knees right underneath our hips. We are going to draw our belly button in towards our spine. We're going to hold for five seconds. That's five seconds. And release, okay? So you never kind of know what that feels like. It's like somebody's going to put you in the stomach and you kind of draw in and, suck, right, and kind of pull your belly button in. So it's not a sucking in. Like, it's a drawing in maneuver. It's called hollowing. So we want to hollow that core, pull that belly button into our spine, hold for five seconds, and release. And we're going to do multiple repetitions of that, re-educating that core to activate. So we want to be able to train that core to be able to be activated, but also activated when there is movement or when it's called upon. So the core, the deep core muscle, is actually the first muscle that is called upon during any movement. So if I raise my arm, my brain actually signals for my core to activate first to stabilize myself. So we need to learn how to activate our deep core muscles with movement. So a bird dog is a great exercise for that. It also helps out with some hip and thoracic spine mobility as we learn in phase one. So same exact position, the quadruped position, hands right underneath the shoulders and knees right underneath the hips. We're going to draw in our belly button like we did in the quadruped drawing. Pull that belly button in and we want to be able to do this while breathing. So we're going to focus on our breathing while we're activating our core. We're going to reach our hands and our legs out as far as we can. We want to think of the extension from our fingertips to our heels, all in one nice line. Keeping that just like that, reaching out nice and slow. Breathing out while keeping that core tight on the same side. And we're gonna end up alternating, going back to the other side. All this is why that belly button is drawn into the spine, practicing breathing. So it's also important as our deep core muscles are also our external muscles, like our oblique, our rectus abdominis, and our rectus spinae. Those are also gonna help make a rigid core for our body, which is called bracing. Though It's going to be on the outside of that. So we can activate our deep core muscles and our obliques in a nice side plank position. So this will help make it make sure that it becomes really strong and has a lot of endurance. So there's one way that you can do this is with your feet on top of each other. You always want to make sure that your hand's nice in the 90s, not out here or here, which is going to put a lot of stress on your AC joint. Right underneath your shoulders, use this hand to kind of pick you up. And you're going to hold this for time. We'll give you those times anywhere from 15 to 30 seconds. Or as you get better at these, you can progress. Now, if that's a little difficult in the beginning, bring these feet in. And then you're going to kind of hinge up on that knee. And you can do it as a modified version until we really strengthen up that core and help that. Like we said, we talked about the transverse abdominis, how that muscle really protects the lower back and makes a, a nice rigid core. Uh, and a lot of times it's not activated. We also still want to activate our rectus abdominis, the six pack, the abs, to also help create a nice rigid core when we're exercising or moving. So we're going to do a curl up because this is going to also help protect our back. And this is a great transverse abdominis exercise as well. So we're going to have one leg up into this position. We're going to put our hands on our lower back so we can get some little bit of feedback. And what we're going to do is have our head down, chin tucked, and we're going to push our lower back into the ground as hard as we can, which is going to lift up our body. And we want to look up. We don't want to do it here. It's not a crunch. All we're doing is pushing the lower back into the ground, coming up. That's going to activate that deep transverse abdominis and activate that rectus abdominis a little bit while protecting our lower back. We're not putting stress on our lower back. We're just moving from the thoracic spine 
supporting the lower back and really strengthening up all these core muscles. So we also want to make sure that the core is active when we're doing movements. And walking is one of those very beginning things. So the core doesn't always work just in movement. As we talked about, it also helps in stabilization. It's anti-movement. So this is going to be anti-lateral flexion, just like carrying groceries, carrying a suitcase. So we want to make sure that our core is able to keep us nice and straight. This is going to activate all those deep core muscles, motifidae, transverse abdominis, all that funny stuff, but also the obliques and the rectus abdominis and, and back muscles. So we're going to carry this next. We want to bring our shoulders back, just called packing our shoulders, chest up like they're proud. I'm just going to walk it forward. I'm going to look weird as I'm walking to the camera. But we want this nice and slow. I want to feel this in my core. I can walk it all fast. I want it nice, slow, where I'm feeling in the core. Once again, focus on activating my transverse abdominis, drawing in while breathing. 